I want the four of you to create the most iconic Tommy photo possible. What could possibly go wrong? Watch out. It's Halion. Generator's playing that, my G. Three, two, one. PAQ presents Tommy Time. Welcome to PAQ. For those of you who don't know who we are, we are a sick fashion show that you can see on YouTube. So we got to some of the maddest things, some of the maddest challenges. We are a bunch of friends. Please, whoever's editing, keep up a trailer right about now. We are also giving away the infamous Kyra tote bag to one random commenter within the first three hours of this video going live. We also have another super exciting giveaway somewhere later in this episode. Wow. So this week we have a super exciting collaboration. We've been wanting to do an episode with these guys for time. It is the one and only Tommy Hilfiger on their new collection with Lewis Hamilton. So the message behind the Lewis collection is to create unity. It's all about bringing people together and creating a community through fashion, which is essentially the whole ethos behind PAQ. We are about to receive a message from none other than Lewis Hamilton himself, who's gonna be setting us this challenge. Hey, what's up guys? I hope you are all good. As you know, I'm about to release my second collection in the collaboration with Tommy Hilfiger. And in celebration of this, I'd like to set you guys uh, a challenge you will each be given a bag. Inside the bag, you'll find a full Tommy outfit that features clothes from my collaboration, but also uh, some of the Tommy collections. I don't know if Lewis is trying to imply anything, but I ain't got no trousers. <laughs> <laughs> so in my bag, Tommy X Lewis pink polo. I've got the Tommy X Lewis Hamilton backpack. You guys know I love my backpacks. I've got this Lewis Hamilton Tommy Hilfiger high top. I've got a clean, Hammer and T. My challenge for you guys is I want the four of you to create the most iconic Tommy photo possible wearing outfits that are in your bag. Now, these images need to be campaign worthy. Any of you got ideas yet? I'm bubbling. <laughs> <laughs> I told you to get that checked out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Dex, you might not be able to wear black for this one, mate. Them ones Damn. there. Elias. No cheating, bro. Pressure is on. And Shaq, I know you're full of surprises, so I'm expecting the unexpected. But pressure makes what, Elias? Diamonds. For you, Danny, uh, as a fellow car lover, I'm hoping you do something special. Good luck, and may the best man win, and I hope to see you guys sometime soon. Iconic Tommy photo. The pressure is on. Let's get it. Let's go. So the challenge for today is create an iconic Tommy photo in a full Tommy fit. Now you've seen all the old ones before, like, you know, you've got a Leah. But she's done like a kind of block party kind of vibe, you know what I'm saying, campaign. I wanted to go the hip hop route, but I feel like that was a bit expected. So I want to do something a bit different. I don't know, something mad, you know. Skyline, block party, Tommy out. My inspiration for this photo was obviously looking at Lewis Hamilton himself. He's very into cars. It was a Tommy Hilfiger family campaigns that I used to love seeing. So sometimes it'd be them in like, Preppy clothing, campus vibes, university. X-Men, School of the Gifted kind of thing. So when it came to this challenge, I spent my time looking at the archives of Tommy campaigns and thinking to myself, yo, what could I do? Like, what could I bring back? What's iconic to Tommy? And of course, nautical vibes are so iconic to Tommy Hilfiger. So that's why we out here in Southampton and I'm ready to jump on that boat, take that surty picture. Right now I'm in a place to be where the OGs used to wear Tommy back in the 90s. I am in New York City, baby. I had to get a sick location, nice rooftop. I got some turntables, but there's one factor that I definitely need to get me in that mindset, you know, get me into my character, and that is records, man. So my vision for this image is like 
countryside picnic for one. I thought I'd head over to Stratford-upon-Avon and visit SL Shop. We are surrounded by cars and with cars there is horsepower. And speaking of horses, we have our beautiful stallion of a photographer. The one and only Meeks Ravon. Jeez. I got my boy Colio as well, who's going to be modelling as well. And then of course, last but not least, man like Daniel Remain fam. Chapman. Cheese. Young Melanin. Black Excellence. Talk to me. What are we up to today, mate? My kind of vision for the photograph is like a vintage car and then like a picnic kind of scene. As the car we've chosen is a two-seater, you will have to be riding with the crew because I'm not 25 yet, so I can't drive higher cars, and I might have got myself a chauffeur. <laughs> you get to see me in it. <laughs> so the plan is to hop in the Mercedes, drive around the countryside, find a perfect picnic location. But first, got to go outside and meet my driver. So some say he's a sound guy, and some might say that sunshine follows thunder. Go and tell it to the man who cannot shine. Does anyone have this issue? You had one. Which point is yours anyway? To be honest with you, all of them are mine, but <clears throat> I don't know which one we should take out today. Nah, you've actually just shifted. You made it worse. No! Nah! Yeah. Okay, yo, listen. Who's got tissue? He duplicated it. <laughs> Welcome to my boat port today. Me and Meeks are going to be choosing one of my many boats to take out on the waters today to do the shoot. So yeah, come through. We've got so much grounds to play with. We've got all of this. And I've also got it inside as well. So, Meeks, where are you thinking? Let me tell you about this one. Not too bad. It's got the A&G two twin motor, double sail, accelerating zero to 100 in two seconds. That's him. It's not, it's not bad. <laughs> Yo, this location is crazy, bro. Isn't it? <laughs> All right, yo. <laughs> We've got Serona. You know, Serona, she's got the big back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Serona's got the big back, you know? So how's things going in the war, darling? Um, yes, Jonathan's uh, he's been gone for quite some time. But uh, he's due to come back. I do hope it'll be over sometime soon. Oh yes, me too. Um, well, me and Jane are thinking of going horse riding. Oh. Would you like to join me? Jane? Right. You still talk to Jane, that wench? <laughs> This one's really nice. European Yacht of the Year nominated 2019. So that was a big honour for me, you know, to have one of my boats nominated in the European Yacht Championships of the Year. But I think I'm going to have to go for my goal one, bro. My gull. You know what I'm saying? My gully one. Gully gun. You know what I mean? Like, uh, and it's got like, you know, the ropes and all the, everything. It just looks. So we've got Leah. Um, obviously, doing Tommy is the only way. Got some Mob Deep, uh, a Tribe Called Quest, Run DMC, another Tribe album, Grandmaster Flash. This is very New York here. It's the woo. I'm gonna catch my vibe. I'm gonna try vision how I want the shoot to go. You know, I'm gonna check them out. <laughs> Picture the scene of me and Jacob Jake in the suit, me and me Parker, in a 280 SL, cruising down country roads, blue skies, sun beaming down. It was beautiful. And it set us up really nicely for the day ahead. We're gonna drive up to this amazing hill and we're just gonna get this photo shoot nailed. What could possibly go wrong? Who's whistling at me? I think someone just whistled at us, Danny. It? It's because you've done that whole drive with the handbrake on. 
<laughs> Just finished off getting my records, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I definitely got the records I needed. So the stuff's here. We just got to drop it off to the roof. So I say we just get doing it real quick, yeah? Had a look around at the boat. There was a lot of nice options, but in the end, obviously, went with the, the gull, you know what I'm saying? The gull thing. So yeah, man's just going to start the engine. The man's going to free up the boat. So we arrived at Broadway Tower and we decided that, that would be the perfect location for our image. It was like field, lovely view, Cotswold countryside, banging. Sick. <laughs> Try to back it, fam. So we're gonna set up then I'm gonna get into my Tommy fit. Once I've done that, come back up, you know, get this picture going. Obviously, to finish it off, I'm gonna be in the full Tommy Hilfiger look. I'm gonna be all Tommied out, ready to go, ready for the set, ready to scratch some depths. I'm just intrigued to see what it looks like when I, or what it's like when I get my actual outfit on. Ooh. So me and Meeks obviously sat down on the boat. Meeks is a little scared of, uh, you know, the waters. He gets a little seasick sometimes. Oh, bro. <laughs> We need to capture the essence of this nautical vibe. We need to capture the fit. We need to capture the surroundings, the boat, etc., etc., etc. Why did you just move to move two moves? That's cheating. I'm just going to go like that. Okay, that looks like your castle. That's the castle where all your soldiers get de deployed from. I mean, my castle looks way better than yours. I'm just gonna go... I haven't even moved yet, my G. Like, you've moved like... Do you know what? Where's my queen? Checkmate. There you go. Hey, OK, cool. Bang. Checkmate. You can't check my nah, mate. No, I, I checked your mate. But I checked you, mate. I don't care. Yeah, no. You know what? Boom. Revival right, stone. Give me that. That's Revival right. stone. I just checked myself back in. Bro, you lot can't play chess, fam. Huh? You can't play. Drink a shoot, because... So I came up. I had the Lewis Hamilton X Tommy Hilfiger backpack on with the Tommy Gile black hoodie underneath. Real 90s, real OG Steve's, you know what I'm saying? What do you think of the fit, bro? The fit's hard. Yeah? The fit is hard. Yeah? So I think we're going to anchor up soon. Sun is shining, weather is sweet. Ooh. I'll be just getting to your, your tummy. Got that vintage Tommy Hilfiger red tracksuit on, matched it with a peng crept them hiking sailor type boots. They were just mad jiggy and sick. Then matched it with the Lewis Hamilton Tommy Hilfiger collaboration t-shirt. Well, the sun's gone. <laughs> the sun has gone. I'm vexed, but um... very sad. So for this shoot, I decided to include two really good friends of mine, Colio Taylor and Daniel Romain. Me, Daniel and Colio had to get into our Tommy Hilfiger fits. Daniel looked really sharp, Colio looked sharp. I was wearing the Lewis Hamilton X Tommy Hilfiger collaborations shoes. I was also wearing these sick Tommy Hilfiger corduroy pants. I was wearing this sick, sick, sick Tommy Hilfiger vintage shirt as well. I like the idea of, you know, having like three young black men in like a preppy kind of situation. So, we are out here in our Tommy outfits. I feel like it's going to be such a sick, 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 sick shoot, man. Like, the location is beautiful. So, look, was a pair of loafers, obviously, some chinos, I had a turtleneck, then I had the Lewis Hamilton pink polo shirt on, threw a v neck jumper over the top of that, and we were ready to go. Everything's set. We've done a quick recce, take some test shots just to make sure it's all framed up nicely. Where's all the stuff? The stuff is in the car. So now it's all about getting the stuff out of the car. So uh, 
Thank you, Mr. Shelby. So we're going to shoot on our first location, which is going to be outside. The sun's gone, which has kind of annoyed me. Like, Might as well get the worst out of the way because it is absolutely freezing. With all the wind and the freezing cold and the props rolling away and everything, it was a nightmare. It was just so hard to get right. Where do you want this? I think Jake wanted to just literally lay a banana on each corner or something like that to hold it down. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Yeah. We was like, yo, do you know what? It's time to start shooting. Let's get the lights on and actually do some test shots, yeah? So we're proper like filming. Next thing you know, I get licked in the neck by something kind of hard and I'm like, yo. Oh, that's a myth. It's hailing. It's not even raining, it's hailing. So it started raining, it was cold, and the generator kept cutting out. The generator's playing up, my G. Uh, okay, let's just try to get at least a couple photos. <laughs> let's, just, let's just do as quick as possible. We was like, forget it, we're going to fight it, we're going to prosper. But I like the front of the boat more than the back. Huh? I think it looks better if you were at the front. So we finished this out. We've got some test shots down. It's raining a little bit, but we're still going to try and get this photo. We're not going to let anything stop us. Yeah, so we got into it. We finally got it. Half looking semi-decent. My knees are getting wet, my ass is getting wet. I'm going to bang through 20 minutes of just straight shooting and try to make something work. <laughs> Had a strike of luck. Sunlight fam. You get me? Yeah, that's fine. And then Daniel, get your tennis racket. Do some standing shots. Three, two, one. Oh. If we can get closer, it would be great. Okay, can you move in a bit? Watch out. Hold up, hold up, hold up. It's raining, it's really cold. What do you think of the photos though, bro? Got some good in the tree. Yeah, maybe he's gonna like it so much he's gonna print it on the side of his car, his F1 car. Pack down time, yeah? Real quick. All right, then come, safe. All right. I'll meet you downstairs, yeah? So welcome, Christina, to the studio. Thank you so much for coming down and judging. I'm Christina Pack, and I'm a photographer from New York and Paris. But most importantly, Christina, how are you? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I am judging the Tommy Hilfiger photo challenge. So we each had to create a photo whilst wearing a full Tommy fit. So it is one piece from the Lewis Hamilton collection, and then the rest of it can be from new Tommy to vintage Tommy. I think we've all taken it in very different directions as well. What are your expectations? Do you have any idea or are you just like... I have no idea. No idea. That's the best though, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Shaq, let's see your photo. Ooh. Cheers. So for my photo, uh, I decided to base it on like a Tommy Hilfiger campaign. Tommy Hilfiger have done this thing where it's like the Tommy Hilfiger family and they kind of like do this whole kind of like preppy vibe. I'm not really into preppy stuff, so I thought that's about my comfort zone. I'll try something new. I mean, when you think about Tommy, you definitely think about the family portraits, like that prep vibe, as you were saying. The composition is very nice. I like that it's a horizontal image as well, because most campaigns you have to also think where does it live and usually like billboards or... The concept of the shoot was amazing. It was like the Ivy League, kind of private school, posh boy kind of aesthetic. A lot of heavy wood, a very polished floor. It is. <laughs> Big up to whoever be there polishing that wood. Polishing that wood. <laughs> that sounds so wrong. Nothing a bit of spit shine can't fit. <laughs> spit shine. <laughs> I like the fact that he didn't just use himself. He actually went out of his way. He was like, yo, do you know what? I want to make this a bigger thing. Thank you, Shock. <laughs> 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 OK, Danny, you are next. Sweet. Let's see your photo. Three, two, 
One. Damn. That's G. Okay. So I am massively into classic cars. I have two of them myself. So I thought, Lewis Hamilton drives Mercedes. Let's get a vintage Mercedes in it. Unfortunately, we didn't really get the castle in, but I thought this image was the strongest on the day. I'm really into negative space and lines, so there's like a good balance going on. That photo was cold. I think what you said, that was Jake? Yes. Yeah, he looks swaggy. I think that's the first time anyone said that. <laughs> yeah. I think he got carried away, like there's sure fur. I think Jake was really enjoying his little photo <laughs> shoot. <laughs> the lighting was very dramatic. It had that cinematic quality. It was great. Yeah, I man, this is powerful. So good job. <laughs> Elias, you're next. Let's see your photo. <laughs> Oh, you're such a G. That, that one, that's my favorite. <laughs> it has everything that I just like. I love the sky in it, it's perfect. The way it's got Elias in it. There's, there's, <laughs> this is my hype, man. This is yeah, yeah, my guy. Yeah. This is what we need. I get energy. Like, honestly, hug, bro, I oh, said yeah. bloody <laughs> hell, bloody hell. For my uh, image, I decided to go with a nautical theme. You know, Tommy Hilfiger, sailing, that whole vibe, looking back at some of their past campaigns on boats and stuff. I wanted to make it more fun, make it more impactful in my eyes, you know? It was freezing doing that shoot. Like, and you know when you're on open waters, there's no walls to block you. Like, that wind is slapping you down. It was very, that iconic campaign feel. And especially because he had the flag, it was fire. I wish you were a little bit bigger, just like a tiny bit. Think of that, like, blown up, that would be flipping sick. You ready? Born ready. All right, let's get it. Three, two, one. Ta-da. Mr. New York, yeah? Okay. I was not expecting that. So with my image, I used hip hop as a big reference. Hence why I have like the turntable behind me. I want to kind of do that whole like, you know, rooftop kind of party vibes. I'm getting ready to DJ. You know, I got records there. I want to get the nice skyline in the background as well. With this particular image, I wanted to use the kind of contrast of the sky with the red lighting as well. It's really nice to see the iconic red and blue within the photo. As a New Yorker, I mean, I've seen a lot of rooftop photos. <laughs> I like it's paid homage to like the hip hop aspect of Tommy whereas we all went in very different directions. I don't think it really captured it as well as I would have hoped. I'd like to see you looking as if you are doing the DJ set. There was no electrical, so we couldn't actually plug it in. So the turntable would have been there, and if I'm fake scratching as well, that's just, I'll just... Fake scratching. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't feeling to. I'm confused, you're bare serious. Just like holding this bag like, up. Who holds like, a bag like that? <laughs> He's like, you know? Should be hitting Jim a lot more. If he did that, I feel like maybe the bag would be a bit higher in the photo. All right, that's fair. So how do you guys feel? Do you guys feel confident or? See? No, see, I don't know. It's... I mean, if Shaq was judging, I definitely would feel confident. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say good job. I feel like everyone had their little flair. It was it was great. A, a lot of variety. When you think about Tommy Hilfiger, you can feel it in, with each photo. So I think everyone did a great job for the challenge. So I had a chance to think, and the winner is. Elias! <laughs> Thank you. Yes. I don't know who's <laughs> My God. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming down and judging. Yeah, big, big love to the Tommy family for this episode. You comment below your favorite moment from the episode to have a chance of winning the Tommy Hilfiger Lewis Hamilton collaboration team. Comment below. Goodbye. Drum and bass. Techno.